How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and people, and my friends, abundantly everywhere? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is our business. And consider this strange kind of business. Very strange. Here I have two heavy spheres on strings. And I'm going to make one each go around the other. How's that? Going to make each go around the other. And I call your attention to their behavior. The st string is twisting up here at my thumb. The spheres are getting closer to each other. And as they do, their angular velocity increases. And I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just staying as still as I can. Watch. When they get very close, they will go very fast about each other. And that is the principle of conservation of angular momentum, about which I spoke in matters astronomic. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And that tells us why an ice skater does what she does when she pirouettes on one foot and so on. Watch that, watch that now. Watch it. Very fast now. Very fast now. And now, increasingly slower. There we are. And would you believe it? With this demonstration, I would be triggered for six one-hour lectures on the principle of conservation of angular momentum. We needn't wait for this to go on anymore. You've got the idea. So let me remind you that when an ice skater skates, puts up one leg, puts out both arms and spins, I'll draw a picture of that. Here is the ice skater. There's one leg out. There's both arms out. Uh, there's the axis of rotation. The moment of inertia for this configuration is very large. Mass is way out from the axis. Now she has a certain spin, a small omega. Now what does she do? She drops her leg, drops her arms, the moment of inertia becomes small, and the angular velocity very great. So when you see the beauty in an ice skater doing this, remember the principle of physics that dictates the ensuing motion. Another one at random. You see what we are doing? I made it known earlier that this may be considered a heterogeneous array of enchanting things for inquiring minds. A heterogeneous array of enchanting things for inquiring minds. Problem. Here is a hoop, solid and closed, and a shaft, and let us consider that oscillating in its own plane like that. It should be held rigidly, and here is the picture. It oscillates in its own plane. And it has a certain period, meaning it takes so long to go from one extreme to the other and back. Now, supposing I cut out a symmetric element of this hoop. I cut it out. I just cut it out. Here I have done it. Oh, I've cut out a little more, I guess, than I've shown you. Question. <laughs> Question. How is the period of the motion affected? Is it faster or slower or untouched? Well, if you're not prepared with that, how about this? I've cut out more. I've cut out more. I've cut out more. And an incredible thing is witnessed, both physically and mathematically. The period is unaltered. The period is the same for this as for the whole hoop. And so a dilemma arises. Have you not detected in many of these programs that I raise dilemmas, paradoxes, troublesome questions? If the period is unaffected by cutting it out, what are we going to have if we cut it all out? And I thank you for watching.